Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at these uh, alligator clips I bought from AliExpress and for these I paid about two dollars and a total number of alligator, alligator clips that I got are 10. So basically 10 wires of uh, alligator clips and each end has uh, a clip so in total you get uh, 20 clips with 10 wires. So I've already taken out uh, four of them, uh, two blacks and two red and the reason I bought this is before uh, previously so I was working on some of the solar panel and these uh, small USB charge controllers and some bug, bug converters so I was having to shoulder wire again and again to test all these modules to determine which one is going to work best for my uh, solar charger that I was building which is this one so I was having to shoulder wire again and again to test which one will work better and after some time it got really tedious so I gave up and finally bought some alligator clips so these will help me uh, to connect these types of modules uh, very quickly and I can test a large number of modules without having to shoulder wire on them permanently so let's keep these aside and here are the uh, alligator clips so one problem that I'm having with these clips is perhaps maybe because they are new uh, the plastic or the rubbery uh, insulation is very slippery so every time I try to press it the uh, alligator uh, clip slips from my hand and speaking of the uh, length of the wire so the wire is about if I measure it with a measuring tape you can see that the length of the wire is about uh, 20 inches is about 20 inches long if I stretch the cable to the full length you can see that it is about 20 inches long So the wire is a decent quality but I wouldn't run anything more than uh, 3 amperes uh, th 3 or 4 amperes through this wire, 4 is a maximum that I would run. However in my uh, usage I wouldn't be running anything more than uh, 3 amperes because in testing of these modules I'm hardly getting more than 3 amperes uh, from my solar panel. So to test uh, these I'm going to use a 12 volt power supply which is connected in an uh, extension here. So let's turn it on. I don't have a variable power supply yet but I'm planning to buy one soon which will happen when I have the budget to buy the power supply so this is a normal 12 volt power adapter uh, center positive so all we have to do is insert a shoulder wire or something like that inside the uh, uh, charger and then connect the positive which is the your red probe to the center and then we will take another uh, clip and that will connect to the outer casing of the or the outer terminal of the uh, our adapter there we go it's connected now so let's keep the contraption at a side so here are the two things and if you look at the uh, module you can see that we've got our two uh, connection point the positive one and the negative one so in DC system we connect the positive to the uh, the red red side is connected to the positive so red is connected and the black is connected to the negative so let's connect the black as well and when they are connected you can see the LED is glowing that means the module is working and to test the module all we have to do is plug some some kind of uh, USB load I'm going to use this uh, combined load which has a small LCD screen as well as the load built in so let me just insert it there we go so we are getting 5.2 volts out of our 12 volt adapter let's increase the voltage uh, this meter is not very accurate but I don't want to calibrate it just yet because I was I've already done some wire testing with this uh, 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 tester and I don't want to mess up the result I know there is some error but the error is at least consistent uh, among all those uh, cables so if I increase the current you can see that the module is working the adapter that I'm using is only 12 volt uh, 1 ampere and we are getting 5 volt 1.72 so it is definitely increasing the current and bucking the voltage that is decreasing the voltage to 5 volts so the maximum I believe we can go is through this adapter is about 
there we go about 1.6 and up. if we go about 1.6 or 1.7 the voltage starts decreasing so there we go the alligator clips are definitely working and are going to be really handy uh, in future so let me just take them out and I can easily uh, take them out without having to worry about anything so previously I was working on a solar portable solar charger and I bought a couple of these uh, USB soli solar charger module or uh, charge controller or buck converters and I was having to solder resolder wire again and again to test dif uh, different kind of these modules to figure out which one will work best uh, with my setup uh, by the way these uh, solar panels are your 165 by 165 uh, uh, millimeter and with the dash you can see these are six volt panels so I've connected these two panels in parallel so I'm getting a six volt at the end and some current and then uh, I chose this one this gave me the maximum uh, voltage and maximum current so so I've soldered it finally but previously when I didn't have these uh, alligator clips I was having to uh, shoulder wire again and again and deshoulder wire again and again to test all the uh, connections and the biggest problem was when I was testing these types of buck converters as you can see these buck converters uh, have an input side your input side as well as your output side so I was having to shoulder wire on these two terminals then shoulder wire on these two terminals and which became a tedious job after uh, doing three four of these uh, connections so definitely these uh, cables are going to help me out in the long run and f in future videos uh, it will be very uh, easier for me to uh, review or work on these uh, smaller uh, charging modules. So there we go, this was my video on these uh, alligator clips from AliExpress and if you are looking forward to buy uh, these clips you can go ahead and give it a try. I paid about two dollars for these uh, uh, clips and I got about 10 of these and Indian rupees I paid about like 130, 135 rupees uh, including shipping. So there we go, this was my video. I hope you found this video helpful. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. And before I do that, uh, the uh, length of the uh, alligator clip is about a little less than one inches long. So here is a, uh, you can see it is about one inches long. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.